Hey there, everyone. I hope you're rocking today. Lately, in my Geoscience GIS Twitterverse feed, something's been going around called the imposter syndrome. Psychology Today says the imposter syndrome is a psychological phenomenon in which people are unable to internalize their accomplishments. Well, I say f that and I'm going to tell you how I got over this imposter syndrome. Before we get going, if you have any questions or concerns or anything you want me to talk about, just leave them down below. Let's get rocking. Hi there, I'm Dr. Chris, a professional geoscientist. For about two or three weeks there, my Geo Twitter feed was exploding with people talking about the imposter syndrome. Now, I remember this from something I read years ago in various success books, and it seems to boil down to a person doubting their accomplishments and a constant internalized fear of being exposed. To check it out, I took a few tests to see what I came up with. All right, imposter syndrome test. I feel like I don't deserve any of the success I've attained. What? Most of the accomplishments I have are just a fluke. No. I downplay my achievements because I don't think they are as amazing as people think they are. What? What the hell are these questions? I've often succeeded on a test or task even though I was afraid that I would not do well before I undertook the task. What? I rarely do a project or task as well as I'd like to do it. Uh, sometimes? At times I feel my success has been due to some sort of luck. Uh, uh, rarely? I feel bad and discouraged if I'm not the best, or at least very special in situations that involve achievement. The best? Very special? Uh, rarely? I'm disappointed at times in my present accomplishments and think I should have accomplished much more. Totally true. I can do way more. <laughs> Submit. Survey says 41 out of 100. None to mild impostorism. A bunch of baloney. It seems to me that all these questions were getting at an external thirst for emotional validation. To be a lot more empathetic here, when I was younger, I fell for the same Perhaps you're not doing what you really want to do and praise and criticism don't really matter. Maybe you took a job because you had to or you were just acting in some automatic fashion every day at your job. Or maybe you went into a field because of the fear of your family or you just got caught doing a job you hate. Maybe you just fell for some ridiculous BuzzFeed quiz that means absolutely nothing designed for maximum clicks with minimal energy. I personally think this is probably what most people fell for. And here are four tips you can use to get over this imposter syndrome. <laughs> Number one, do meaningful work that you are passionate about. Now, this is not necessarily an easy task takes planning and maybe a little luck for this to happen. If you are truly engaged in your work, no praise will phase you, no criticism will derail you. You are simply doing something that you feel deep down inside is something you are meant to do. Number two, kill the external validation and become your own center. Now, we're social animals and cannot quite disconnect from the herd completely but we can forage our own path. Forage? Did I say forage? Forge. Forge our own path. This is a balance between being able to accept a compliment and shrug it off, or being able to accept criticism or shrug it off. 
Otherwise, it will just be a continuous roller coaster of emotional validation from external sources. In a world dominated by likes, clicks, view times, you are required to forge your own path. Forage? Did I say forage? Otherwise, you're going to be swayed by the whims of faceless masses forever. Number three, stack your talents. Check out my video up here, or is it up here? It's one of the sides. Anyways, if I set it up correctly, it's up here somewhere. Stacking your talents has to do with the fact that you're not going to be awesome at A, you're not going to be awesome at B, but combining A and B makes you a superstar. Number four, you guessed it, become a caveman. If you have control over your emotions, control over your body, control over what you eat, control over your social skills, control how you navigate relationships, you will have an easier time centering yourself away from the thirst for external validation. In a future where algorithms, robots, and automation do everything better than humans can possibly hope to do, becoming a caveman, having emotional capital, having social capital will probably be the last thing that we can do. And those are my thoughts on the imposter syndrome. Here are two things you can do right now to get over the imposter syndrome. Number one, don't ever take those stupid online tests again. Number two, now this is a little bit harder, but make sure you're doing something meaningful. Now you might not be great at it, but at least if you put in the time and get your <coughs> together, meaning will keep the external validation at bay. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please give me a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, add me to your LinkedIn, or even better, share my videos through your networks. Till next time, I'm Dr. Chris, keep rocking.